Hello, hello. I am so excited to dive into dun dun dun, dun super veggies. So today we're going to be talking about cruciferous vegetables. We're going to talk about what are cruciferous vegetables, what they do for your health, how to easily add them into your diet, and some of the things that I have just hanging around the house that I can show you how I can incorporate them in my diet and my family's diet. So as we know, like all veggies are good, but all foods aren't and all veggies aren't created equally. Some veggies are seriously like super veggies. And the things that they do for your health and for your body are, it's just so easy. We add these veggies in and all of a sudden we're fighting cancer and we're decreasing inflammation and we've got all of these awesome things that are going on that just by adding a little broccoli. So what are cruciferous vegetables? So cruciferous vegetables are known as like the super foods of vegetables and it's because they have a power punch when it comes to a lot of internal beautiful things that they do to make us look younger, feel better, better digestion, more energy, less depression, anti-cancer, all of these things. So I'm going to list just a few of the cruciferous vegetables, but then I want you to Google cruciferous vegetables and then let's all together add in a different kind of cruciferous vegetable every week. Wouldn't that be fun? So cruciferous vegetables are cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, bok choy, radishes, arugula, kale, broccoli, maca, who knew, I did not know, maca was a cruciferous vegetable, uh, collard greens, and corella. So um, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, because a lot of these things, you're going to want to write down just some ideas that you have on how to incorporate these superfoods into our diet. Like a lot of us are used to now incorporating cauliflower into our diet because we have cauliflower rice, there's cauliflower pizza. I mean, it almost feels like cauliflower, these are not cauliflower, but cauliflower coming out of our ears, which is good because cauliflower is really, really healthy, but there's also so many others. So broccoli, by adding broccoli even every other day is going to give you significant health benefits. Um, Brussels sprouts, by roasting Brussels sprouts, cutting them, maybe roasting them with a little like rosemary and garlic and onions. Um, you can dice them really small and put them into your salads. Arugula is so delicious to eat, like sprinkle and mix into your salads or arugula salads, bok choy for stir fry, tofu stir fry. Uh, radishes, I love just cutting up radishes and putting a little bit of sea salt on them and having them for a midday snack. Uh, kale, broccoli, uh, the broccoli, I usually just steam and eat that for a snack. Kale, you can, um, it's great to give kale like a little massage. So when we're talking about like the chemicals in some of these cruciferous vegetables, it's when they're broken down, like with our teeth or chopped or massaged, that these chemicals are released and then you get the benefit of health in your body. So different ways of preparing these vegetables are also important. The great thing is you really don't need that much. So big disclaimer is if you're not used to eating vegetables, if you're on any kind of medication, make sure that you see your healthcare provider first before adding any cruciferous vegetables. If you are a veggie connoisseur um, and you're used to eating veggies, maybe just add a half a cup a day or one cup of any of these cruciferous vegetables and you're going to feel and even look and feel the difference. So veggies have these phytochemicals. They're plant-based chemicals that affect their, the content affects our body and how we fight different diseases. These veggies are truly like the superfood. They're like, they put the boxing gloves and they're truly like the superfood of antioxidants and anti-inflammatories. Um, all of these like natural compounds are found in plain and simple plants. So first I want to go over some of the top reasons why we should incorporate cruciferous vegetables into our diet 
as regular as possible. So the first one is um, it's anti-cancer benefits. So cruciferous vegetables are a potent anti-cancer and um, not, not just so there is a lot of research on prostate cancer, but they actually have components that they're, an, they're, they, they're anti-cancerous compounds in many different areas of cancer. So because of their, they are anti-inflammatory properties, um, kind of similar to turmeric. So like turmeric, um, you're probably used to hearing about turmeric. This is just like a tea I grabbed, but I have a huge thing of organic turmeric. I put it in a lot of my food. I make turmeric lattes, but turmeric is also a really good like anti-inflammatory food. But this is also what cruciferous vegetables do is they decrease inflammation. And so the reason why they think that this prevents or fights against different cancers, because a lot of cancer is created through inflammation. So like I said, there's a lot of studies and research that's going into pancreatic cancer, but also Christopher's vegetables, uh, the studies have shown to help with stomach cancer, bladder cancer, prevent breast cancer, prostate cancer, lung, colon, and skin cancer. Wow. Awesome, huh? Okay. So the next is that Christopher's vegetables actually help relieve and relieve, give you a relief from depression. So when you think about Christopher's vegetables, they have a significant benefit when it comes to just making you happy. And there's been a link between inflammation and depression. So inflammation in the brain, inflammation in the body has been known to cause depression. So by adding these cruciferous vegetables, you're actually making yourself a happier human. Um, another one is pain relief. So I, I don't know if you've heard the study like with turmeric that instead of taking Advil, um, taking turmeric as an anti-inflammatory, if you have like anything from like joint pain or uh, maybe you just have a headache, so trying turmeric first, same, um, the studies have also shown for cruciferous vegetables. So like broccoli sprouts and um, cauliflower, it helps with the inflammation that causes you to be sad. So decreases inflammation in the brain and makes you a happier human. Um, the next is the cardiovascular protection. So the protection against cardiovascular disease. Uh, so when you're eating cruciferous vegetables, it actually helps with the inflammation in your arterial walls and has and may help with decreasing your likelihood of getting cardiovascular disease. Since one in two of us die of cardiovascular disease, this for me is a big enough reason to add some broccoli to my diet. You? Yeah, I thought so. Um, okay, so the biggest things about cruciferous vegetables are the antioxidants, um, that, that it eliminates toxins. So there's there's fiber and in and insoluble fiber. So the insoluble fiber actually is not digested, and then that is uh, what feeds our microbiome in our gut, and our gut releases 90% of our serotonin. So the stuff that makes us happy. So when we're eating these Christopher's vegetables and we're getting all this fiber and insoluble fiber, so we're not able to digest it, it's feeding our happy microbiome and it's making us happier. Plus it's detoxing. It's taking out and cleaning out some of the things that don't belong in our body. And then it also has been known for its, um, Cognitive effects. So as far as like Alzheimer's, it helps with your cognitive responses and helps you just be a little more smart. Okay. So um, I wanted to share with, oh, you know, the first thing is I want to talk about maca because I was going to do like a whole thing on maca because maca is so incredible and it's something that I try to take at least like three or four times a week, I put it into my smoothies, but I really didn't know that maca was a cruciferous vegetable. It's in the same family as cabbage 
is uh, broccoli and cauliflower. But maca is a root found in Peru and has been used for thousands of years for all for a lot of different benefits. Um, for me, I use it for energy, but it also, um, this root increases your strength. So it's great for when you're working out, increasing your strength. It increases your energy, your stamina. It increases your libido and your sexual function. So I know last week we were talking a lot about our hormones, and this is one thing that improves your perimenopausal symptoms and also menopause symptoms. So it helps improve hot flashes, night sweats, anxiety, and depression. So how I take maca is um, I just put it in my smoothie. So this is just maca powder. This is actually just from like the geo. You can get it from any of your health food stores or from Amazon and it's maca root. Um, it's just, I just do like one teaspoon a day. Um, I also um, put make uh, a maca chino almost every day, and this is just a maca chino. You could just put maca, plain old maca, um, with like your soy milk or almond milk. You can put um, I steam it like steam it up, and um, it has like a rooty, like a yummy rooty taste. Uh, this one also has cacao and cinnamon and nutmeg. So if you have cacao powder, that'll give it that, that dark roasted yummy flavor. And then you just steam it up and you make a yummy macchino that helps you with all of these amazing things. Isn't that cool? So um, another thing, another uh, uh, cruciferous vegetable that I was surprised that it was called a cruciferous vegetable is Corella. So Corella is one of the most powerful plant-based um, nutrient-packed, I guess it'd be like vegetable that you can find. It's actually like a single-celled algae, and it's got uh, more protein uh, per pound than anything that you could eat. And it's it's um, also known for its immune support. It's a detoxifier and it builds stronger blood. So those are kind of some like random cruciferous vegetables that are really, really powerful if you want to add these into your diet. So um, this Carilla, again, um, you can find it at any like health food store. Um, it, su it suggests taking 12 tablets a day, which is three grams. So um I can do more research on exactly how much, but I usually give like five or six of those like little Krilla tabs or I put it in my smoothie. So this, um, this is always really, really helpful, especially in these kind of times when it's harder to get to the store. And I always just, and when I'm traveling a ton, um, which is not right now, but when I am traveling a ton, I always travel with my greens. So this is like an aura green. It's got, um, all kinds of cruciferous vegetables in it. So it has cabbage, it has, um, it has, uh, organic barley, wheat, Ju wheat grass, kale, broccoli, um, carilla, spirulina, dandelion. So I just suggest when you get um, a green supplement, I put this in my smoothie almost every day that you just make sure it's organic and see where it is actually coming from because some that sometimes there's not a lot of restrictions when it comes to supplements and you really want to make sure that what you're eating is healthy. So, but the best way to get your cruciferous vegetables is eating good old fashioned veggies. So, um, I, I really don't like a lot of the packaging, but, um, this is what I had in the refrigerator. So Brussels sprouts, Again, you can just dice them up, you can put them in stir fry, you can put them in your salads, but Brussels sprouts are such a, a great addition to your diet. And I usually have them like, I, you, I'll i usually make like enough for like three days, so I'll make them like once a week. Um, super popular lately is these like cauliflower crusts. 
This one is actually from Trader Joe's and it's a broccoli and kale um, crust. It's and it has broccoli, uh, corn flour, black kale, olive oil, and salt. And so I would much rather make it myself, but when I'm in a big hurry, I'm super thankful for things like this. So that's an easy way to get your broccoli and kale into your diet. Um, and then I usually go to like Costco and get these big greens and then just throw them in my freezer. So I usually take half of them for like stir fries and for um, salads and all that good stuff. And then I roll it up and freeze the rest for my smoothies. And then I just take it out and put them in my smoothies. Or you can take it out and put it in your stir fry or your soups or anything, but it stays better. Because I know sometimes it's hard to buy things from Costco because you get these big things and then you're like, how am I gonna go through all this? Throw it in the freezer, no problem, and it will stay great. Um, okay, so I think that that's it, you guys. I was so incredibly excited to talk to you about these Christopher's vegetables. So please take a second and write your goal to add Christopher's vegetables. Take a quick Google search. Make sure that they're safe for you to eat and then find a new cruciferous vegetable every single week. Okay, I love you guys. I appreciate your time. Com you're committed to your health. I'm committed to your health and together we're gonna be stronger than ever. Bye.